Let's do a little math. 122, 127, 129, and 247. <whistles> That's how much I gave Kim. That's a lot of coin. Hey loves, it's your favorite blind chick back on your screen with another one. I know you're like me and you've been seeing a little brand called Skims all over your social, which is why today I wanted to share my thoughts in this try on haul and review. Not only am I gonna show you how the Skims fit on me and how they look and feel, I wanted to get to the nitty gritty. Is it worth the hype or is it a waste of your money? I hate it when I buy something and everyone seems to love it. I'm like, what is this? So we're gonna go through it because there's some things I love and some things I don't love about this brand. So I hope that you enjoy this video. If you do, you know what to do. Tap the like button. I hope it helps you whether you're placing your first order or adding to your Skims collection. So let's get it. So the first set that I ever bought was a little over a month ago in the Rose Clay. This is from their classic cotton collection, the one that everyone and their mom has. I wanted to see what this was all about. This bra right here is the sisterhood of traveling bralettes, okay? This looks good on everybody. I don't know what kind of sourcey they put in the seams, but this is flattering to every form. Whether you're part of the itty bitty titty committee or if you are blessed in the bust, this is gonna have you looking right. I love that the band is thick. I might have needed to upsize because I always wear it on the last hook, it's a little tight. But then, other than that, the way this looks is just perfection, chef's kiss. Kim did that. The only thing that I'm not very impressed by is I wore it about three or four times. And by the way, these are my pajamas since if you really want to know, I haven't bought a pair of pajamas in over five years. My sleepwear is looking holy and I don't mean spiritual. So it was well overdue. And I was hoping that this would be my luxury loungewear type of thing since when you're paying this much, it better be. But unfortunately for me, do you see this? It is pilling pretty badly. This is what I expect this to look like maybe a year in, not after a couple wears. I've washed it three times and it was pilling before I did that. So to not, I didn't do this. I mean, maybe they're not meant to be worn in bed, but I read their reviews and some people do wear these to sleep. So I don't know, but I'm kind of disappointed by that since like I said, they ain't cheap. And especially when you live in Canada like me, expect to add another 10% on every price point listed because it's not just what you see on the screen, it's exchange rate, duties, and taxes. So just letting you know. Then I got the shorts to go with because I'm all about a set. I love this. I listened to the streets, which were saying size up so they don't ride up. So instead of getting this in a double extra small as per usual, I went for an extra small. When I first put these on, I was like, I should have got my true size. But as time has gone on, these are my comfort pair. I love how they have more give in them. They still have me feeling snatched. And we'll talk more about that as we go into the other sets. But my problem with this one was the first time I washed this, there were some little specks. And I washed them twice since, and those spots have gotten bigger and bigger. I followed the wash directions, hand wash cold, lay flat to dry. So I don't know what's going on here. Kim, can I talk to your manager? Because if I can see this and I don't see much, that says a lot. So I was very disappointed about that. I'm the type of customer, because I worked in retail forever, that I will email them and be like, hey, what's up? Luckily, they responded right away and they gave me a partial refund, so I guess that's okay. I had already ordered and was waiting for these to arrive because I didn't even notice that these were pre-ordered, so I waited three weeks for them. This one came in about a week and I decided to get extra, extra small again in this. I probably wouldn't do that again because it is cropped and I love me a crop, but this is next level cropped. This is in the beautiful Iris Mica color. I've washed it once. There's no discoloration, so few. Holding my breath for the next couple washes though because I don't know what happened with that. But I love the square neck. A couple people, I've watched the reviews and they say after wears and being worn, it becomes more of a you. So we'll see, but so far so good. The only thing I would say about this is go a size up so that when it stretches, which it stretches a lot, it's not so see-through. Because I realized that once it stretches, say over my chest area, it becomes a little transparent for me. I mean, if I'm home alone, it doesn't matter. But if I'm jumping on a Zoom call, I might want to pop a bra underneath. These shorts I got in a smaller size because I figured, hey, let me just see how this fits in my true size. So these are in the double X. The only thing is, Okay, 
one of two things. I love how it really cinches in the waist. It gives a real hourglass shape. It gives the booty a little lift. This does cinch a tiny bit on the leg. So just letting you know, and then everything else about this is amazing. It gives enough everywhere else. It stretches quite a bit. You do have to pull it down from time to time because it will ride up. This next set is from the Soft Lounge Collection. They relaunched it again with a new top that I am absolutely obsessed with. I love me a racer cut top and the back is thinly cut. I really like it. Like the Cotton Collection, this is super airy and breathable. It stretches way more though. So I got this in extra small and I'm so grateful that I did because I can tuck this in, giving it a bodysuit or romper kind of vibe or have it cropped if I want to. I feel like I could even get away with wearing this outside. The other stuff, not so much. I got this in the Onyx color because I wanted to be sophisticated with it and I love the way this looks. If you've seen the vlogs, you know I wear these literally every day. These stretch so much more than the cotton collection does so you can get your true size and not be afraid that they're going to ride i absolutely adore these because they fit so well and i usually don't buy black clothes because i am so slim i don't want to look like i'm disappearing but this just gives me the vibe i'm going for there was one problem with this though you know i'm going to let you know the first time i put these on the first time i said no, 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 no. There's a hole right here. I would stretch it so you could see, but I don't want it to tear anymore. I sent them a picture like, hey, I ain't got no nails, so it's not like it snagged or anything. And of course, if I'm pulling up my shorts from here, what's going on? They gave me a full refund, which I mean, I'm not mad at. I'm just afraid to sew it back because this is the type of fabric that gives me the vibe if I were to try to stitch up something the needle itself might cause more problems. So wish me luck with that. A blind girl with a needle, I don't know about that, but they're just such a beautiful pair. I can't, I can't, what is my luck with this brand? So moving on to my most recent purchase. This arrived last week. Let's unbox this together. I love how it says skims on the inside. They put your receipt on top. They have very minimal packaging, which I can respect. Any brand that's conscientious of their imprint, all about the eco-friendly biodegradable packaging, I'm here for. This first piece is part of another set, surprise, surprise. I'm all about matchy-matchy. This is their sleep bottoms. And as luxurious and soft as this is, the soft lounge ain't got nothing on sleep. I swear everyone's sleeping on sleep because I never hear anyone talk about this and I think this is what I thought skims would be. The way this feels, and hey, maybe I'm biased because one of you lose one sense, you pay attention to your other, so I'm all about the feel of fabrics and just the sense of touch in general. This is what dreams are made out of, which is why it's perfect to fall asleep in. I, this feels like a dream. It's super airy. I got it in double extra small because I just didn't want to have that middle school gym short vibe. You know what I'm talking about. That, that look doesn't look good on anyone. So I figured if it's a little more fitted and flirty, maybe I'll look more feminine. I love this cocoa color. If you know me, I'm all about the neutral tones and the rich warms. This is giving very luxe. You can wear this one of two ways, up, down, fold over. I'm not really much of a fold over girl, so I like wearing it high-waisted or on the days that I'm eating a lot and I might go to bed early down at the bottom so I can breathe. But either way, it stretches a lot and it just looks so pretty. What's a bottom without a top? This top is just as soft as the shorts. It looks super tiny, but just like the rest of Skims, they are the queens of stretch over there. This fits perfectly. It's just the right amount of fabric, especially since it's summer and it's hot in my apartment. This is the perfect thing to sleep in. The scoop neck is so flattering and it goes a little more dipped in the back. So, I mean, this is exactly what I was thinking of when I was looking to buy things from Skims, pieces that would really make me feel like it was a new experience. I know that sounds like a lot, but I'm sure you buy Skims for the same reason. You don't want just regular, regular stuff. Like this is not Hanes. Whereas the cotton collection, I can't really say the same. The only thing, because there appears to be something with everything, is there's a couple balls, almost like pills. I can't see them, but I can feel them. Nothing to cry about, but hey, for something that's brand new, should it be pilling? I don't know, just saying. Last but not least, 
this dress right here. Sleepwear like this is perfect for a slumber party, sneaky links, or even solo. Listen, Skims understood the assignment when they made this. I know this is not the dress, the one that everyone is raving about on social. It's the new mini version, but I figure what am I gonna do with the whole maxi dress in this bachelor apartment? Like, tell me, to the window, to the wall, like everything is within two steps of one another. So for me to buy a whole dress, to wear around my house didn't make sense. So I figured the mini dress, which hey, if I really wanted to, I could probably get away with running an errand or two outside, would be the better purchase for my life. It's so flattering. You can tell I was going for Morticia vibes, Adam family. It's just very sophisticated and sensual. I love the way this feels. It just has a way of sculpting the body. It's not doing the most because it's still a very basic with a subtle scoop. You can adjust the straps. I'd say out of everything I bought, this is the thing I'd recommend the most. I'm a little terrified of the fabric and truth be told, when I'm spending this much on clothes, I don't really want to baby it the way I feel I might have to. Like, is this going to fade? What is it going to snag on? Can I pull it down a certain way? I don't want to think that way. These are clothes that are meant to be worn and enjoyed. So we'll see how this goes. You know me. I'll let you know on social if anything else happens. But that's my full review on Skims for you. Some things were amazing. Some things were definitely a fail. I'm going to be watching and be QC over here, quality control. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, let a girl know by tapping the like button. Comment down below. Have you gotten anything from Skims before? Do you like it or what are you looking forward to? And until next time, stay safe, stay sane, stay blessed. Love and later.